You've got a pro career, you've got a family. What draw you, drew you into to wanting to be part of an ownership group of, of, a, of a hockey team? Well, I think uh, giving back. I mean, um, you know, being when I was when I was younger, I used to, to watch, you know, go around, and we used to watch all the, the different levels of, of uh, hockey, USHL, college hockey. Um, and to be able to, to have a team in Madison, I think, would be great for young kids that play hockey. Um, I mean, they get to go out and, and have idols that are a few years older than them. Um, a lot of them are in, uh, like grade school, and for them to go to to the Coliseum to watch a, a high school kid play, I think it'll be a, a pretty exciting experience for them. You touched on a little bit before about going to the Coliseum and, and watching Badger games there. Yep. The nostalgia factor seems like it, it, it could be a pretty good draw for you guys with, with this endeavor to, to get people who you know remember the beer guy, remember those yep. games. How, how big of a factor was that for you to make sure that, you know to see that, that this team play there? And, yeah, I think the tradition in that building is unbelievable. I remember uh, going and watching. Um, I remember watching. Sags play there at the Coliseum. So um, I used to go there on the weekends. We used to be able to practice there during the week and then play on the weekends. So uh, it's, a, it's a great building, great atmosphere, you know. Um, having a beer garden, I think. I mean, if, if I'm a dad, I'll take my kid there all day, every day. So um, just a great, great experience it's going to be, and it'll be, uh, it'll be a lot of fun for families to go and enjoy. The the league has has grown so much in the, in the you know 19 year however many years it's been since the USHL was in Madison. Yep. That's got to be a, a big thing too. This isn't the same Capitals team as it was no. back in the day playing over here. Exactly. I, I think uh, you know if if that team would still be here today if my dad had help, but he tried to do it all himself. It's tough to, to sell beer and sell tickets at the uh, at the same time, and then also try to help coach. So um, I think this is going to be run like a first class operation. We want it to be run like a pro hockey team, and I think uh, it's going to be a very successful thing. I know the name Capitals is important to you, important to your family, yeah. and and this seems like a good way to tie it all together and kind of promote the, the youth programs, yep. boys and girls now. Yep. Uh, it, it, was that part of yeah, the important definitely. thing to you to, to lift that? Up. Yeah, that's part of it too. I mean, the Capitals have been around since 1975, I think. So maybe maybe a little later, but the uh, to to put it all together and name it the Capitals, uh, give there's 120 kids right now in the organization that now can dream of playing for that USHL team, and then from there going on to play at the UW or other colleges. So it's just going to be a great uh, great thing for for youth hockey in Madison.